All right, everybody, we are back with Stellar Crown. I thought I'd come in a little flashy today with the dofy glasses, the headband, and the pink shirt. So here we are. It looks like we're up against some sort of Monkey Dory deck. Maybe it's the pure monks that I ran before. I'm not sure. But on our end, we've got Lapras EX and Dialga V Star. One of my favorite V Stars, actually, but it's all facilitated through that Knock Towel. That will get us some trainer cards. Specifically, Crispin to get the acceleration on to the Lapras to use its, I forgot what its attack is called, the one that gets us a bajillion energies for the Dialga. It's called Laramar Rain. Anyway, hopefully we're going to get some time to get set up because we do not, we have the Crispin. Oh, there it is. All right. Well, there you go, guys. We're going to go ahead and get that Lapras out. Unfortunately, it's not in the front, but that's not a big deal either just because we... Well, we could actually Prime Catcher, but we're not going to because we're not going to be able to get the energies on exactly how we want. Crispin will attach one, but only put the other one in the hand. So right now, go ahead and attach this one. Play the old Crispin. Didn't even need the Noctowl. Get one of each. Done Dozo. Let's go ahead and put that water. Oh, that's it's asking me the one to put in my hand. Okay, guys, you got to pay attention. You got to read. So Psychic to the hand. Water to the Lapras. And... I mean, I guess we could do 80 damage if we did Prime Catch, but they can just Petrunt anyway, so it's not a huge deal. I, I mean, maybe they can Janine and attach. That could be a problem. Let's go ahead and should we Prime Catch now? I feel like we should. I think we just switch anyway. I'm going to go ahead and just chill. We don't really need the Hoot Hoot if it goes down. We've got the Iono anyway, so that would hurt them. All right, we're just going to wait. Next turn, we will go ahead and attach to the Lapras, get 20, look at the top 20 cards and attach any number of energy cards. So first we're gonna go ahead and attach the Psychic. Gonna wanna Iono, maybe get some more Dialga stuff down. It looks like one energy right there. Do they have the Janine? That is the question. I'm starting to one, no, the Janine poisons the active, but it does still attach to the active and we are rocking and rolling. We had enough time to party guys, fan Rotom. It's not our first turn, so it's kind of useless at this point. But just so you know, fan call during your first turn, search for up to three colorless Pokemon with 100 or less. That means Hoot Hoot, but not right now. Right now it means Psychic Energy to the Lapras. Prime Catch up. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, you can't put, you can't use, switch one of your bench Pokemon. Yeah, so I, I was going to try to trap it or something. I don't know, it's not going to work out, but that's fine i guess it doesn't really matter so sure let's just take the monkey dory yep lapras to the front we are all set up but not quite let's iona we are going to help them out but hopefully we help ourselves out a little bit more i mean we could still get a knock towel okay so we do get one of these and honestly probably put another lapras down that's crazy that's insane Oh boy, well we only run two water energy, so this Lapras would only be activated once we get that water energy. Okay, well we can't grab anything, so we're not gonna grab anything. I'm still inclined to put the Lapras down just because we only have one Dialga. So there it is, but this hand sucks. I really wanna get Ionode. But man, five energies in there, so now we only have 17 minus three, we have 14, 15. That might not hit everything we need, but we're gonna go ahead. Ah, oh, we could Power Splash actually. We're not going to, but we could. Laramar Rain. We still have the boss as well. Only six. I mean, it's enough to party, so I'm not going to complain. Let's go ahead and just do that. One, two, three, four. Okay, we definitely need five so that we can use the V-Star power. Five. And in terms of number 60, now this Lapras is kind of pointless. So learn the lesson from me. Um, but 220 is a great number because that'll knock out anything we want. Um... Let's see. Right now we're doing with five, we're doing 240. Also a great number. I think we should attach one more just in case they have, you know, like a bravery charm, hero's cape, whatever. You never know what you're going to have to deal with. And unfortunately, this deck does not run a lost vacuum to get rid of any tools or stadiums they have. In fact, we don't run any stadiums either, so we'd be at the whim of that. They do, of course, subjugate those chains. Send out a poisoned monkey dory. And... A psychic energy, interestingly enough, I wonder what that's for. The Binding Mochi will take me out. -na 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 -na. They go ahead and nest ball, but what for? Mimikyu. Bro, that's kind of annoying. Um, 
We could take out the Mimikyu. Oh no, we can't. Noctowl's attack is pretty weak, isn't it? All right, so there goes the Lepra. It does 60, so yeah, that kind of sucks. We're Fan Rotom, Fan Rotom, what do we got here? Does 70. It's got 70, takes only one energy. No stadium in play, attack does nothing. So we actually would need them to put a stadium down. But let's go ahead, let's do this. That's that right there. Okay, dang, we lost that Prime Catcher. Do we have Palpad? We don't. The Mimikyu, we might be Mimiscrewed. I'm trying to think. Unless we can get Noctowl to attack first. So I'm gonna go ahead, I gotta go to the Noctowl route. So there's that. And then if we Star Kronos now, we just Metal Blast and take two. Or, I mean, I guess we'll go this way. We'll, well, I want to knock out the one that can attack, actually. So we'll go Star Kronos, get one prize. No surprise, it's probably going to be an energy. Uh, yeah, take that out. Unfortunately, it's just minus one prize card. So let's just take one Ultra Ball. Actually pretty cool, because we can get the Knock Towel and Knocked Worry about that. Uh, except for the... Ugh, so useless. Um, the only problem being that oh we can get trainer cards so that's fine um what we're gonna do is boss's orders right there let's take the golden boy right there drop an energy right here and let's go ahead and get that knock tower right now boom what trainer cards could we use obviously a boss's orders a switch that's pretty sick that way we get to keep the energies that we have so knock to worry we got the knock towel right there evolve that bad boy now of course the Noctowl only works when we have a Terra Pokemon in play, which is Lapras. So just something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and seek those jewels. Digging through the dirt, grabbing a boss's orders. Do we have to show them to our opponent? Yes, we do. So they're going to know that they're about to get wrecked, but that's fine. We're going to go ahead and do that right there. And can't start Kronos again. Of course, Metal B -b 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 Blast. I don't know what that's from. I think it's from like a Who song. I don't remember. Anyway. Two prize cards, energies of course. Okay, I'm not that worried about the Mimikyu now. Uh, Actually, well, with the Monkey Dory, I am a little bit, but they don't have the energies to do anything right now. Um, I cannot recall if Janine at attaches two non-darkness types. Darkness energies attached to any Pokemon, so they could do it that way. Get one onto the Monk, one onto the Mimikyu. They go ahead and grab probably another Funky Monk. Nope, darkness energy. I really don't want to use a boss on the Mimikyu. They go ahead and actually take it for the Monkey Dory. That's pretty funny. Okay, in that case, in that case, oh boy, we have three. We could, okay, we'll get rid of their ability to switch with this, trap it, and then mm, I kind of feel like I should take care of the Mimikyu while I have it, but they still have the switch. So we're gonna go ahead and boss's orders. The Pet Schmeister 3000, Energy, Lapras, like not really. I think I'm gonna save the energies for if we get another Hoot Hoot down. So let's go ahead, Metal Blast, 280. Oddly enough though, we run so many energies, we still got enough to get the Dialga, Dialga, Dialysis. Well, I don't know how you guys wanna say it, but they're gonna have to rely on this Mimikyu now because the moment they put the Funky Monks down, things are gonna get a little less funky for them. Or, I mean, depending on if you think Funky's good or bad, I don't know. All I'm saying is, I feel like we should have gotten more energy Gs with the Lapras, but considering we prized five of them and I think had three on the board and maybe even some in the discard, that does make sense. But ideally in this situation, I would say get a Lapras set up, get a, and then get two Dialgas set up. I'm just going to say Dialga. I think it has more culture to it. They're thinking hard. I think they're thinking in their thinking chair and they're thinking they got nothing. So, I mean, you got to put the Mimikyu out. I don't have another Gust. They don't know that. I don't have another way of getting it back because I do not have... Well, they put the monk out. I mean, again, I only need one prize card. So I think even... I mean, I showed them I was packing heat with the Noctowl. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't have that, maybe they think... Maybe they'd be feeling a little bit better about it. But... Well, there's the Petch. Okay, that makes sense. But then they would be poisoning. Actually, they can only put Darkness Pokemon out. So they can't even put... Okay, there it is. Yep, they put the Mimikyu. Boom. And then this is where the switch... I mean, we could get Iono, but this is where the switch comes into play. Fartizan, that's fine. That was actually a stadium. We could have done Fan Rotom for game, but we'll say game right now. GG's.